swirling all around and you're wondering, okay, I think I should take a probiotic, but what probiotics are the best ones? Uh, so I'm Morgan, I'm a plant-based registered dietitian and yoga teacher, and today I just post about all sorts of nutrition and yoga and wellness videos, and so today we're going to dive a little bit deeper into some of the better probiotics. Um, I'll be sure to put the links for anything that I'm going to discuss down below, and just know before we get into anything that when it comes to supplementation, it's super individualized because what you're eating is very individualized, right? So. Uh, and your needs can vary. So it, probiotics are not created equal and there's not a one size fits all. Just like you wear a different size of pant than your best friend or than your neighbor or than your you know, partner or your spouse or whatever, the same, it's not gonna be the best probiotic for all of those people. So you don't all wear the same pant size, you don't all use the same probiotic. So just keep that in mind before we dive in. Now, the first and most important thing is whether or not you have a compromised GI system, meaning if you have like diarrhea or constipation, um, like IBS or Crohn's or any of those types of, of issues, there's more um, specific ones for those conditions and I'll be sure to put those links below um, because there's a lot of research for certain conditions, particularly for travelers associated with really diarrhea and constipation. Um, IBS is a little bit more vague, mostly because IBS is like the most individualized gut condition ever and not the same, the same thing just doesn't work for everybody. So when it comes to the best probiotics, the first one I'll say that I recommend is, um, is BioCult. So BioCult is a diverse um, strain, it has multiple strains of both Bifidobacterium family or genus and then also the Lactobacillus. Um, and it's just the, the sourcing and the, the production of those strains is pretty pure. Um, it's very well controlled and so I think that that can be a really great option. I also, the second option I think, is Floristore. So Floristore is just um, uh, one strain, it's Saccharomyces boulardii. And Saccharomyces is actually a type of yeast. Saccharomyces boulardii is a, a beneficial type of yeast that's used as a probiotic and it's not native to the gut, so meaning you don't normally see it there, um, but it actually is very helpful in you know supporting the gut barrier wall, and um, a lot of times with antibiotic associated diarrhea it can be very helpful. So if if you're having issues with like that type of thing, definitely Saccharomyces boulardii. Saccharomyces boulardii is also pretty awesome for traveler's diarrhea, um, and so the the third one that I would say can be a good option. Um, is a soil-based probiotic. So soil-based probiotics are just like what they sound, they come from the dirt. Um, and so there's a lot of research that supports the idea that we're just not touching enough dirt, we're not you know, eating fruits and vegetables with enough dirt on them to get those organisms in our body. And if we think about it, our body you know, has way more bacteria cells than actual body cells. So we are a living, breathing, conglomerate of other organisms and so to support that you know symbiotic relationship we need to eat those organisms we need to kind of get them on our skin and everything um, so soil based probiotics can be helpful there's a couple different options out there um, uh, and I honestly hesitate to recommend one or the other because it varies a lot in terms of the price point that you're willing to spend and if you have any conditions because soil based ones aren't going to be the best for, for everybody but just know that that um, especially if you do have like um, SIBO and you're at the point of like it's clearing up that can be a good option but you definitely don't want to take a probiotic if you're like you know actively undergoing SIBO treatment so keep that in mind. Uh, so I know that it was, you know, the thing about probiotics that I really want you to keep in mind is it depends on what's going on. And if you let me know sort of what's going on with you, it can better sort of adjust that. Um, but Saccharomyces boulardii is a very helpful strain to look for in your probiotic as well as a broad spectrum probiotic. Um, so that should definitely kind of give you a starting point. And you want at least, so it does vary, but you want significantly higher than 10 billion. I see so many probiotics out there which is 10 billion, which like, yeah, that's like a little more than what you're gonna get in food, but the thing is, like, that's not necessarily a therapeutic level for uh, many conditions that you maybe wanted to prevent or sort of work with, so just keep that in mind. Give it a like if you found this helpful, and until next time, um, keep it kind. 
subscribe to catch a new video.